Good morning to everyone. And uh, first of all, um, I would like to excuse uh, my minister, who, uh, as you said, was held back uh, by an unexpected uh, political obligation and who asked me to convey to you uh, his deepest regrets not to be with us today and to uh, wish you uh, all success uh, for the works uh, today and uh, um, for this, uh, this seminar and uh, this, uh, this meeting. So now I will read the speech that uh, he was uh, expect, expected to, uh, uh, to give to, to you. Mr. Director General, uh, ladies and gentlemen, members of the board, ladies and gentlemen, it's a great honor for me to open this meeting of your board of trustees which, and the seminar which you have chosen to hold in Brussels on an exceptional basis. There is no doubt that in this capital of Europe, headquarters of NATO, the base of more than 1,200 non-governmental organizations and with over a one thousand press correspondence, your message will be exceptionally well publicized. I'm also delighted that this important meeting is taking place here in the prestigious setting of the Tervuren Museum. The Tervuren Museum is a testimony to and record of the very strong ties that exist between the people of Belgium and Central Africa. And thanks to the proactive approach of its director, Guido Grezels, it is also a partner and key player within the Belgian Development Corporation. A few months ago, in these same premises, using the museum's details, maps and archives, representatives from the Democratic Republic of Congo and from Angola, together with Belgium and Portuguese representatives, peacefully settled a long-standing dispute over boundaries. What a marvelous demonstration, demonstration of culture and development working in the cause of peace. You are holding this uh, seminar and this board meeting with the eyes of the world turned upon you. Your institute the International Food Policy Research Institute is known for the relevance of its analysis and the quality of its predictions. The current global food crisis amply demonstrates how important it is that major decisions on agriculture and food be based on analysis and reliable forecasts. Ladies and gentlemen, Agriculture and food safety are one of the five sectoral priorities of the Belgian Development Corporation. Action by Belgianists in, in this domain is both humanitarian and structural. Its objective is to give direct help to starving population and also to foster agricultural productivity. Priority given to local agriculture production to feed the population. Involvement of the people in choices about agricultural policy and recognition of the role of women in rural development. These are ongoing concerns of the Belgian Development Corporation. And consequently, they are the key focuses of our action in the rural development area. As a committed donor to the World Food Programme, Belgium was one of the main initiators of the board's decision to modify the organization's buying policy in favor of local purchases. In a campaign involving multilateral, bilateral and indirect aid, Belgium supports WFP action and I uh, take this opportunity to salute the representative of WFP uh, here, who is here present. 
Belgian supports WFP action and that of other aid organizations on the ground. Our cooperation puts a great deal of effort into these aspects, both in terms of logistics and through supporting local producers by helping them improve their capacity to respond to WFP calls for tender. By way of example, a project financed by Belgium at the Food and Agriculture Organization enable a warrantage system to be created in Niger, allowing farmers to obtain credit by using their harvest as security. This resulted in a 30% rise in amount of credit granted, increased use of fertilizers, and higher yields in villages where warrantages is practiced. The Niger government has just amended its banking legislation based on this experiment, which is to be extended to other countries in the region. As you, more than most, are aware, biodiversity conservation is a key element in food safety. This is the objective of the financial report, uh, the financial support given by Belgium to the consultative group on international agriculture research and in particular to Biodiversity <coughs> International managed by our compatriot Emile Frison. Ladies and gentlemen, I would also like to briefly mention the Belgian Survival Fund which represents 34% of all Belgian cooperation actions in the food safety sphere and for which Parliament should shortly be making a decision on the third tranche. The multi-sectoral approach it adopts as, re as regards food safety based on integrated rural development was established prior to the Millennium Development Goals which are also based on interdependency of development objectives. Mr. Director General, in IFPRI's 2006-2007 report, you emphasized the fact that economic growth has a more positive impact on the poorest population groups when the source of, his, of this growth is in agriculture. I can assure you that Belgium will intensify its effort in this fundamental sector in order to achieve the Millennium Development Goals. In so doing, we will pay close attention to the Paris Declaration to Aid Effectiveness, now integrated into the EU development policy and the principal frame of reference for the Belgian development cooperation. In application of these commitments, Belgium will limit the number of sectors selected in cooperation programs with its partner countries to two. One of these sectors must be a, produ a producing sector, agriculture, in which we are greatly experienced, will certainly benefit from this new orientation. Agriculture and rural development have in fact already been selected with larger budget allowances by nine of our 18 partner countries. Mr. Director General, ladies and gentlemen, I wish you every success with your own ongoing uh, and future work. Thank you very much.